He already in my DMs. Oh, that's Lizzo. Okay, let's record. Okay, we've got part two of dating tips from Wikipedia. So, it just sounds super credible, doesn't it? Just like reeking credibility. I'm going to follow all of these and get a boy. Mark my dang words. Is this how you met Jake? WikiHow? <laughs> yeah? No. Oh. Forget WikiHow, Emma. How about you just tell the listeners, listeners your love story? Okay. So it all started with a pen and paper. And... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would love to hear that story sometime. Though. I thought you already, you already heard it. No? How long ago did you meet? Our three years on Tuesday. Shoot! So wait, you were... I was a, f- a part-time freshman. Part-time freshman. At CLO. And he was a senior in high school. That's right! And was he homeschooled? No, or, um, public school. Public school in the area, and his family lived on yeah. campus, and you guys got to meet, and they fell in love. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Forget these tips. So Forget you having a friend though. set you up. Forget um, using dating sites. Just forget it all. Forget it all and listen to Emma. Forget it all. Be a cradle robber. Like me. Uh, okay. Ready, Emma? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hi, guys. Part Hope you enjoyed two. the music. And now it's time for part two. Part two. Okay. So, okay. If you are just now tuning in with us, um, we were... Oh, this is the Good Morning Commute. Right. Pardon and moi. Uh-huh. And we are telling you guys some dating tips that we found on the internet. Yeah. Specifically WikiHow. Yeah. So, yeah, we found these on WikiHow, and they're really good so far. Um, so, we're they're just going to move on with the next one. Okay. So, jumping right into it, um, tip number six from WikiHow is to meet like-minded dating through activities and events. Wow, okay. So let me, let me can, do you mind if I explain yeah, so this? Go ahead. I think what this means is um, if you are hiking, mm. maybe look for potential dates on the trails. Oh. Or if you really enjoy uh, concerts, um, look for uh, potential mates <laughs> um, at concerts. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah, because then you know for sure that you guys have the same taste in music. Mm-hmm. Same taste in music, same taste in activity. That is so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. So if you are taking a baking class um, while you're, you know, pinching the crust, you look over <laughs> next to <laughs> You look over... <laughs> You look over to the table next to you, and you see the boy over there, and he has the same technique as you with the crust. I, I had no idea what you were talking about for a minute. And I was like, pinching the crust? What is she talking about? Yeah, you pinched the crust. Uh, the class. Oh, God. Yeah. No, I was thinking, so, like, pizza? Uh-uh. Nope. Mm. So, yeah, George boy <laughs> over there has got the same uh, paint technique as you. So, that's pretty cool. What an attractive quality in exactly. a boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, yes. What a great tip. Ooh, it's kind of hot in here. I'm sorry, <laughs> really hard and I got sweaty. <laughs> um, all right, let, let's just move on. Yes, yeah. Um, okay, so next, here's another one. Uh, next little category would be um, approaching and talking to the potential date now that you've found okay. them. So let's say you have found the one. Yeah, you found them at Coachella, so now okay. you got to approach them. Okay, so you got to indicate any interest um, and project confidence during social situations. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, so, so you have to indicate their interests yeah. as well. You don't just want to, like, come at them yeah, with uh, exactly. your feelings or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, apparently, if you do see them um, and you're interested, uh, but you can't come up with a pickup line. Ugh, rats. That's, you should uh, have some thought up already. <laughs> just saying. Uh, you mm-hmm. could offer for, you know, to get them a snack or something. Well, that's good. So, I'm like, I'm coming up to you, Bethany, and I'm like, oh, rats, what do I say? She's so beautiful. Um, Bethany, can I just, like, get you some pretzels? 
I, loving pretzels, say yes and think that um, this male version of Emma, because I like dudes, um, is very nice for offering to get me for pretzels. For pretzels, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's clever, too. Like, wow, how do you think of getting me a sack? He must find me somewhat interesting. <laughs> very mm, cool. Very okay. cool tip. All right, moving along. Uh-huh. And then, oh, uh, yeah, the submissive one... Making engaging small talk, whether you meet in person or in line online. So okay, you gotta make talk. that small you know, talk. Uh, yeah. How was your day? Um, mm -hmm. You like dogs? Yeah. What's um, your favorite color? Maybe try less yes or no questions too. Oh yeah, um, like open open ended questions. Open ended questions. Yes, yeah. Ask those. Um, yeah. That really. That's helps when you'll you. really get them. Yeah, and you can really get to know them better. Yeah. And you can sh even show them, like, how intelligent you are by the type of questions you ask. Like, you know, like, have you ever thought about how, like, the universe, you know, kind of, like, combines, like, our lives and we all hold hands? Have you ever thought about that? And then she will be like, wow, who am I talking to? Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. I'm just kidding. Uh, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, like, wow. Okay, so, yeah, definitely, um... Think about some cool questions you could maybe ask them to get to know them better. Yeah. But also, tip number three, don't take yourself too seriously. I mean, Ooh. try to calm the nerves. You know, it'll be okay, even if you really, really dig them. Yeah. Um, don't get in your head. Try not to get nervous. It. Try not to overthink. Mm -hmm. I, I overthink quite a bit, I feel oh, like. Oh, same. And then I'm like, uh-oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I say? That's my head. Who am I? That's my head. What's my name again? Oh, well, overthinking. Yep. Uh, another tip is be selective, but also reasonable when pursuing potential <laughs> dates. So, okay, let's talk about standards. This is what it, that's talking about. And, um, ladies, don't Stand settle. <laughs> yeah, don't settle. Men, don't mm -hmm. settle. Like, yeah, um, exactly. Don't. But also, <sighs> be, be understanding, be realistic. Um, yeah. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. You are not perfect. Yeah. Um, I am not perfect. So just just be reasonable, but you know, do do set standards for yourself. Yeah, exactly. That uh -huh. is really good. Kind of know maybe what you're looking for too. Our friend Skylar, she's got a list of qualities um, for a potential husband. I hope she's okay with me sharing that. Yeah, but, the yeah. list. Um, I've heard about the list before. Not just hers, but... Um, when creating a list, um, you have to, like, determine what are unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. and what are non-negotiables. Like, for me, yes. non-negotiables would be, you know, a relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. how they treat their family, mm -hmm. um, and a great sense of humor. Yeah, that's a, that's a necessity for Emma. So, um... If they don't meet some of your necessities, maybe they're not the one for you, and you can be selective in that mm -hmm. that matter. But if for some reason, like oh, they have brown hair, but you Instead really of like orange light hair. brown hair. Oh yeah, I yeah, you that, know what I'm yeah. And so you're just like, uh, I feel like that's a little too selective. That's like, too yeah, unless, exactly. Unless having brown hair is just a a non-negotiable for you. <laughs> Which you <said>. yeah, okay. <laughs> you said that. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. um all right, and then just real quick, just a few more. There's there's a lot of tips on here um, for dating. Oh, we may man. actually have to go through the rest of these another time. Because these are Honestly, fun. Honestly, yeah, the rest of them are just kind of funny. Yeah, but um, the last one that we'll share with you is to be respectful even if you're not interested. Oh, yeah. If you're, like, um, on the date, you're setting, you know, in front of him or her, um, and you're both, you know, cutting your steak and you're eating it. Um, and you just Yum. realize that, you know, you don't like the way that person eats the steak. Maybe and that is a non-negotiable not for that you. he chews with his mouth open. You're mm -hmm. not interested, but you still need to be respectful. Don't be like one of those movies where they, you know, that they say, let me go to the bathroom real quick. And then they climb out the window and never come back. Oh my goodness. Don't you don't ever do, do that. that to someone. Don't ghost people mm -mm. either. Be a man. Be a woman. Can yeah. Talk to them, you know? Exactly. Talk to them. Talk to them. That's all I'm saying. And uh, that's all we will say about dating for today. Because that yep. was our last tip for today. But if you guys really enjoyed 
talking about dating tips or hearing um, us talk about dating tips, could you call us and yeah. let us know? And then Please. maybe we'll do a part two. Yeah. Um, oh, goodness. Our number is uh, 417-360-8230. What's the three last? 30? Question mark? Dot, 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 dot. Oh. Um, We'll get back to you on that. We'll get back to you Next on that. Next segment, yes. We'll be back with <laughs> <Sorry>. the phone <part> number. <laughs> but we do have a Facebook page that you can also uh, message us on. Um, it's KCOZ. So just look that up. And we would love to hear from you guys if you thought any of the tips were dumb. Oh. Or if you have any tips of your own. And maybe we can yeah. add them into our dating part two. Ooh, yes. Ciao. All right. GM well, ciao. we're peacing out here. Uh-huh. And, and we'll, we'll be right back. Later. Yeah, we'll actually be right back with mm-hmm. uh, literally my favorite segment, What Would You Do? How embarrassing. I'm going to freak out if I was right. Bro, that would be crazy. Do you still remember what you said? Oh, (laughs) I forgot you guys were here. I hope I wasn't doing anything dumb. Alright, peace out. Bye.